Okay guys, so here we are in the Mana Drain Open and we are in round three and we are playing the a Tog Lord. Um Lost the die roll again, of course, which is most unfortunate, but I think I'm going to keep it. Um, obviously, if we get wastelanded, I mean, it's just just an absolute blowout, but, um, you know, like if we can draw a mox in here or something along that line, then I think we're in pretty good shape. Oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting to get Gataxian probed here. I believe the Atog Lord is playing uh, a rug build of some sort. Um, but, oh, another attacks and probes. You know, this is probably uh, just fodder for treasure crews would be my guess. But if he's actually running Cabal Therapies, then it's pretty good. So, I think we're, um, I mean, we just got to try and do the Trinosphere here, right? We'll set a Chalice at zero. Yeah, we we got to try and do that. I mean, if it gets spell pierced, it gets pierced or forced. So that's fine, I think. Okay. And hopefully next turn we can play a lodestone golem or we'll be able to set a chalice at uh, at 1. Or we could also do a sphere of resistance here too, which I'm not as crazy about. We also have the option of a tangle wire. So Pyromancer here, Snapcaster. Okay, Gitaxian Probe. So my opponent has now nugged himself for eight life. Um, Okay, that was single-handedly the worst card we could have drawn here. But um, I think we've just got to try and get a Chalice at one out here. And, you know, if my opponent plays, uh, you know, something like uh, a DAC, then it's obviously not very good for us. Oh, interesting. Okay. Definitely a good force of will there. We just need land here, guys. That's what we're what we're after. And hopefully he doesn't get one. Okay, another priority. So this shows the power of what how good a chalice would be here. I mean, we've seen uh, out of all the cards he's played. I mean, one, two, three, four, five of them have been uh, another another whiff, guys. Okay. Most unfortunate, but we're going to try and buy some time here with Tangle Wire. Of course, it shuts our whole next turn down, but there's not much we can do about that. He's thinking about whether he wants to force this or not, and I would be just fine with that because he's got no pressure on us at all. So he's down to one card in hand. I guess he's drawing, but we still have a mitt full of stuff, which, okay, Delver's a good one for sure. And that's going to put us on a tight clock here. This is awful, guys. Just whiffing. All right. I'm not going to play a Sphere of Resistance here. Hopefully he does not flip. He does. Lightning Bolt, which is one of the worst cards we could see here because it can get our... We're just not going to get there fast enough, guys. I don't think... I mean, there is a world where this, this can work, but, okay. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty much dead here. Okay, so we didn't get there game one. But had we drawn a land, like, at any point in time in that, any of those sequences, I felt like we were in that game really well so I, I'm not um, too disappointed in the the outcome there
Yeah, we'll just take her in. I think this is reasonable. So he's obviously got a lot more to do than I do on the sideboard because, uh, of course, he would have a lot of hate for Shop's matchup, knowing that this is going to be a tough one for him. All right. Much better hand. We're going to definitely keep this. Much, much better. Now, having seen the power of this gentleman's deck, uh, I think we've just got to try and get a Chalice out at one here. And I will try to do the exact same thing next turn if we don't get it through, rather than putting it at zero. Oh, it got through. Okay. Um, we could just be seeing an Ingot Chewer here. I'm just going to pass turn rather than uh, worry about uh, putting it on zero. Hopefully we don't get strip mined. Black Lotus. Oh wow. Really nice play for him. So here's the question. Do I just play with a thorn here? I think I do. I mean Let's see what he does. Okay. All right, so we let it get through. So that was a pretty good start for us. I mean, we don't really have too much of a, you know, too many threats going here, but I think this is still a good place to be. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. So I gave up the t extra two damage here. in order to cast the Sphere of Resistance. I think we're far enough ahead now that uh, having the Spheres down here makes a big difference. And I beg your pardon. These type of decks, rug decks, are, oh, nice for him. Question is, can he afford to take away my Mishra's Workshop here? And he did, which is a nice play by him, for sure. And we're just lucky that we've got a board presence here. And hopefully our opponent cannot get by that uh, chalice at one. You know, this is where an ingot chewer would really set us back. Okay. That costs five. And what would it cost us to set our chalice at one here? So we're not quite there yet. Anyways, let's um, let's pound in here. And the, we we're holding back the uh, wasteland here till our second main phase in hopes that. Uh, or not in hopes, but in case he cracks his fetch lands, that we can uh, get a duel potentially. Because I think we have a pretty good board state here. Like, hopefully our opponent misses on lands. It's pretty key.
So he's got the lands. Okay, didn't do anything. Another wasteland. Okay. Well, I am going to wasteland his uh, volcanic here. So he's going to tap it. Interesting. What's he doing here? Is this a fire and ice? Oh, it could be just be a snapcaster. Yeah, he can snapcast here. Which is probably what he's going to do. Okay. So he's got his Black Lotus back, which is pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That, that definitely hurts, him having that. Hmm. Just not we, anything we can do there. So it's down to six life. And we're in a pretty vulnerable state here. Uh, he's got four mana, five mana, underneath both of our spheres. So it would be interesting to see what he does here. Okay, Young Pyromancer is definitely good. So we're in a bit of an awkward situation here. We need to draw land ourselves. And that's pretty awful. That was an awful draw for us. Um... And we are one mana short of being able to cast a Phyrexian Metamorph here. Not that that does anything for us. Yeah, I mean, we've got a pass turn here, guys. I don't think we... Uh, I mean, this is a bad situation to be in here. I don't want to trade my land away for a young Pyromancer, which at itself and face value is a great trade, but we, of course, now are the ones struggling for land after getting stripped on our Mishra's Workshop. So our opponent's gushing. And I don't think he can attack here, but there is a possibility, of course, that he's got... Um... Oh, interesting. Is this an Ingot or a Dark Faden? Wow. Okay. He could steal our land here. Yeah, Dark Faden's a real problem for us here. Um... Anyways, we're going to pump our... Actually, we don't need to do that. Yeah, what well, looked uh, like we were going to do okay here, guys. Looks like it's gone a little bit backwards on us. Him being able to get that... Uh... That Mishra's workshop from us was pretty significant. And of course he doesn't fall for the bait of attack into a Mishra's factory. So I'm not sure how we win this game from here.
I don't think we're going to be able to get there. And then we're just going to be getting beat down really bad, so that's unfortunate. Because he's just going to keep being able to tick up. We're... The Dark Fade. Now, I mean, of course we have Revokers, but... He just keeps digging, right? I mean, he's just got 100% full control of this game. The only saving grace is our Chalice of the Void here. But, I mean, it's only a matter of time until that dies, too. And, of course, this guy ticking up is just awful for us. Because when we do finally get a threat, he's going to be able to steal it. Okay, so there goes the uh, the chalice. I was wondering whether our opponent would be playing ingot chewers, uh, as they're not obviously uh, uh, cantrips. Okay, so... Yeah, treasure cruise here. Totally replenishing his hand. I mean, we're just cooked. That's just awful to have to... Outside of all the other things going on here, i got to watch this guy draw three cards. Okay, so there you go, guys. We are not going to get there. Unfortunately.